A huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Welcome to another studio vlog! I'm very excited to get this one out for you guys because this one's going to be nice and juicy and just also super exciting stuff happening uh, these next two weeks. But yeah, today I decided just to go ahead and get an early start on Patreon Originals. Normally I wouldn't start it for like another five or six days. I haven't worked for a few days so it kind of threw me off of like my flow. Um, so there really wasn't any like ideas or like product design that was flowing for me today. So I was like, I still want to be productive with my time. So I'm going to do Patreon originals and I'm in love with them. Very happy with them. Uh, they look very similar, but I did one that is like kind of like a little bit more of like a red and tealish color palette. And then this one's a little bit more orange and like a yellowy green. Uh, so yeah, I have six done so far and I have a max of 10 spots for my originals tier on Patreon. So we have four spots open. If you're interested in getting one of these babies this month, then there's open space. So yeah, I just thought I would get a head start and I had a lot of fun. Um, I feel really refreshed. I also love how my palette looks. It looks so pretty. Um, so yeah, and I also went to, like I went to Texas Art before I started because I wanted to pick up orange paint because I didn't have orange paint and then a few colored pencils and I told myself that was all I was gonna get. And do I need another sketchbook? No. But when I saw that they came out, of a, came out with a pink version, a baby pink version of this sketchbook, I had to pick one up. I had to. Um, I'm gonna try my hardest to not abandon this sketchbook. Is it gonna happen? Probably, but I, I am, I'm gonna push myself. But yeah, now it is time to take a break because I have not, um, and it's past 3 p.m. Um, so I'm probably gonna eat a meal, take a break, and uh, yeah. So I just baked these little pins that I made um, and I always avoid these now because I'm not very good at shaping the clay and it's very tedious for me and I get very understimulated and just like I get sick of it and I saw this, let me pull it up, 
I saw these on Pinterest and I wish so badly that I knew the artist, but you guys know Pinterest is kind of not so, so great for that. Um, I haven't been able to find who made these, but basically instead of cutting out like the exact shape and painting it perfectly on there, it's kind of like cutting out the rough shape and then focusing more on the actual painting rather than the form. Um, so I really like that about these pins. Um, so I want to do that. Like, that's what I did. I basically just like did very rough forms and I want to focus more on the painting. Like these two are going to be fish. Um, and obviously it's not like an exact cut. So yeah, I sometimes get like really caught up in like how things are maybe like supposed to be instead of focusing more on my strengths and kind of just like allowing my weaknesses to just be um, and letting my strengths shine. So yeah, I feel like it doesn't really matter the shapes um, if I'm not that great at it, but I love the painting part. So I'm gonna focus on that. So I have been running my errands all morning, which I like to do in the morning just to get them out of the way. I don't know, lately I've just been not loving doing errands, so now I just do them in the morning to get them out of the way. But I'm about to start packing orders because that's always how I start my week. I pack orders on Mondays most of the time. Um, but I do have a special, special announcement for you guys. Um, I made a plushie with Makeship. And I do have an unboxing clip for you guys. I did film myself when I got him in the mail, so you can enjoy that now. Okay, so I wanted to react and also get my boyfriend's reaction, but I guess he's deciding to not answer. So let's get into this i'm so excited it's i've been working on this plush for like four months five months i think um so yeah i'm just i'm so so excited i'm trying to be very careful i know you guys had no idea about this but yeah i did a collab with makeship um I'm making a plushie Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Wait, hold on, let me... Let me fix his little hat. Oh my god. He's perfect. His leaves got a little bent. He's so perfect. A little cowboy strawberry. Here he is. He's a little strawberry cowboy dude. Um, thank you to my patrons for helping me decide on some things for my plushie. Um, he got kind of warped in the mail, so that's why his hat looks like this, but his hat is removable and then you just have a little strawberry dude um but yeah his hat is removable with velcro and i wanted to make sure that we would be able to do that and the reason that the hat is this material is so that it can you can like place it at any angle and it will still velcro on so yeah let me let me get him his hat back on and there you go you got yourself a, uh, a 
cowboy strawberry. Um, but yeah, his little legs are corduroy and he just sits and chills. He's actually pretty large, but yeah, I'm so excited. Uh, he, by the time this video is up, he will have officially launched. He launched on uh, May 27th and we have to hit 200 sales in order for him to actually get made. So if you choose to support the campaign, um, if we hit 200 orders, 200 sales, then he will get made and he will be shipped out to you. But if we don't get hit 200, but you still want to support, like if you support the campaign, but we don't get to the 200, you'll just be refunded your money. So yeah, no need to worry about that. But I really want to hit 200 so he gets made. So yeah, that would mean the world to me if you guys are interested, if you could support the campaign. But yeah, I'm just so happy. I've put so much love and time into this guy. We've been working on him since December of 2021 and he's finally, finally here. And so now I got a plan uh, to take pictures of him and stuff. I wasn't, I wanted to do that today and then I woke up and it was cloudy, but now the sun is out. So I think we can take some cute pics of him now.
checking in today and I have been working on these little block printed frogs all morning which I really love and they actually match my sweater um, but yeah you guys saw me carve the little uh, linoleum block and I made a bunch I think I made about like 20 of these guys I might make some more I just don't know how popular they'll be for the shop update coming up um, but I really like it I think it's a really cute simple like original artwork and I hope you guys like them but yeah I did not record at all yesterday because I ended up having to take Salem to the emergency vet because he just he was very sick and he wasn't eating so I got really worried so I just decided to take him in um, and they ran tests and he was fine um, I'm thinking that he probably picked up something off the ground and it just did not sit well with him I don't know but um, they just gave him some medicine and fluids and stuff and he's doing perfectly normal now um, so yeah I just hope that we don't have that issue again so I did not really accomplish much yesterday um, I just had my lunch after working on this and then I have a quick meeting and I'm gonna continue working on a sticker sheet that I was drawing up today because I would like to order it by the end of the day for the next shop update um, it's gonna be a bunch of like little kitty snacks so yeah I've been playing around with inks all morning as you guys saw and I actually had a lot of fun um, I've been enjoying doing an even warmer color palette than I'm used to 
Um, I've started incorporating a lot more orange into my work, which I'm so happy about. I don't know why I avoided it so much before, but I just love how everything is just like super warm. And I just took on another client project. I actually just started doing client work um, more recently. I tend to normally turn it down or just like not really put myself out there for it because I, I guess I just have like major imposter syndrome when it comes to my artwork. I feel sometimes I feel like maybe I don't have good enough skills to be like creating something for a company um, or for a brand. So yeah, I tend to avoid it, but I've been pushing myself lately even though it feels really scary. Um, I feel really grateful to get the opportunity and I am pushing myself to do them uh, just to kind of get more experience in that field. Um, so yeah, even though it feels really scary, it's out of my comfort zone and I get imposter syndrome, um, I'm excited and I'm always excited to push myself more and get more stuff under my belt. So yeah, we're gonna start working on that. And I also got a new paper-like screen protector for my iPad because the one I had, I realized I had completely worn down. It was like no longer paper-like. It was just a screen protector at that point. Um, so I got a new one in the mail today, finally. Um, and yeah, I took the one that I had on my iPad off and I haven't drawn, I mean, I don't think I've ever drawn on like a regular iPad screen. And wow, it's such a strange feeling to try to draw on a regular iPad screen. I actually wasn't even able to because I was like, I literally cannot, like I can't do it. It feels so strange. Um, so if you draw on an iPad, I highly recommend getting a paper like screen protector because it makes a huge difference when you're drawing. Okay friends, you may be wondering Mama, why are you wearing a glove? And why do you have this tank in your studio space? That is because I now have a frog, a pet frog. And it is time to check on her because she's just a little baby. And she ate on Monday and has not wanted to eat since. So I think she just has a big poop coming, hoping that that's the case. But yeah, I got her last weekend and I love her. She is my everything. Um, and my patrons are helping me name her. I still haven't decided, but yeah. I'm gonna try to get her not out of the tank because she's quite the jumper. Here she is, if you can see. She has a big poop coming. Hello. I really quickly wanted to do a quick outro um, and say thank you so much for watching. Thank you if you made it to the end. I always very much appreciate every single view that I get and I really enjoy making these videos for you guys. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed me keeping you company during this studio vlog and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. So before I close out today's vlog, I want to quickly talk about the sponsor of the video. You guys know Squarespace. If you don't know what Squarespace is, it's an all-in-one platform where you can make your very own website. It is a platform that I have always used to run my business and my online website. And they have some pretty cool tools that help me out with it. The commerce tool is super helpful. Design interface is really beginner friendly. And website analytics help me see how my website is performing. So if you're interested in starting a free trial, you can go to squarespace.com and use my code for 10% off your first purchase.